Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today I wanted to share with you the Everyday Life Close to My Heart Planner. <laughs> so I hauled this in another video, but I didn't do a walkthrough and I wanted to share with you how it looks. So I have two of them here. This one is the sea glass um, cover. And then this one is the stripes cover or binder, whatevs. So I'm trying to figure out which one do I want to actually keep for me. So I do have an A5 planner that is similar to this color, but then I feel like my, um, like I have, I don't know what I want to do. I think I'm going to keep the black and white one. Yeah. So the black and white one, I'm going to keep the black and white one. That is my decision and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> so this is the binder and once I open it, there's no turning back because <laughs> it's going to open. Yep. I'm opening this baby now. Okay, so this is the Everyday Life album. And I think you could buy the album separately. Don't quote me. I am no way near the best salesperson or like the person to give the best description. So it's like a nice faux leather kind of binder. It's packaged nicely. The little yucky protectant thing it has like a cardboard paper thing that I can't get rid of. There you go. And then it says close to my heart right here at the bottom. There aren't any pockets. And it's just a three ring album binder. Whatevs. And it's nice and white in the inside. Very basic simple but a binder that works so in the planner kit or planner bundle planner pages 2017 planner pages um oh that binder by the way is or this kit i guess the number is cc1178 and then here are the planner inserts that came with the bundle. There's a little sticky I was looking for. It came all together. This bundle came with four paper clips right here. Can you guys see it? Sorry about the glare. And then it came with a little um baggy thingy this plastic pocket oh i just shut it that you can store stickers um notepads whatever you like and on top here is a pen loop i don't know if i'm going to use it as a pen loop but there's a pen loop right there at the top and i guess i will just put it in the binder as we go through it so I'll just put that at the back. And then we have our inserts. And these inserts are so, like the paper quality is so thick. Like you can use, whoa, this is massive cardstock. So I feel like this page, because it's like a coloring page, you have your leaves, it says January, and you, I feel like you can use all kinds of writing utensils, markers, pens, watercolor inks. I feel like just because the paper is so thick, oh, and well, at least this page is black behind it, so yeah, it'll hide all kinds of colors. And then there's a quote, the best way to get something done is to begin, and it says January, and then there's a note page that says remember and can you guys see let me let me just make sure you guys could see and then you have your coloring area as well and then you have your month on two pages and this is for 2017 
I don't know if you guys could see. So you have your month on two pages. And then you have your note pages. I mean, I'm sorry, your weekly pages, which is a horizontal layout. So you have Monday through Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And then you also have um, the um, month for the previous and for the current month. And then, and I love like all these little coloring spots that you have. And then at the end of the month, you have a notes page, and then you have your February divider, which is another coloring page, and then the black at the other side with the quote. And on each tab is a plastic coating, or it's laminated. The tabs are laminated, so like if it bends and stuff like that, it'll protect it a little bit longer. So this is like the biggest, cutest peacock ever, or turkey, I don't know, I think it's a peacock. And then uh, March, oh, look at the birdies. So there's March, April, butterflies and flowers, May, um, it's a little like floral cluster of flowers. June is a little like geometric pattern. Reminds me of like stained glass. Um, July. You have fishies. August is more pretty flowers. September is like a little, it looks like a palace of some sort to me. But what's cool about this is you can color it to personalize it to your liking. Or you can just leave it simple black and white like this. And it's still very pretty. Um, what is that? September, October. Let's see. You get more flowers. November, a lot of pretty leaves. And then December, you get like, oh, it looks like a Christmas theme. Do you see the ornaments? And then you have your note page, your layout. And then, oh, I just saw this. At the end, you do have a monthly calendar of January, 2018 with a note section in the bottom. There are a lot of pages. <laughs> and because the paper quality is, is freaking amazing, it looks so thick. <laughs> Let's see. Let me try to do a little bit at a time. And put that in there. I love that it feels like it's it's a planner, but it's like scrapbooky paper, so you can do all kinds of things with it using different kinds of um, writing utensils, like I said. Because sometimes I just want to play with different pens, and it's nice not to have really thin paper so that it doesn't bleed and stuff like that. I'll do pen tests later. So this is the planner and I'm so excited to write and play with a new planner. I know some of you guys think I'm probably crazy and why did I get another planner? But um but I did and I'm excited to use it. <laughs> I just wanted to give you guys a quick walkthrough on the everyday life planner bundle from close to my heart and hopefully I will do some plan with me's in this planner as well I'm going to use it strictly for close to my heart uh, purposes so there you go thanks so much for watching and have a good one bye guys